I'm Banjo Ben, your host here at BanjoBenClark.com, your home for banjo, guitar, and mandolin lessons. Today we're learning a great old tune. This one's been around a long time, featured in some really old movies, Laurel and Hardy and stuff like that. It's a song called The Old Spinning Wheel. Technically, the long name is The Old Spinning Wheel in the Parlor. And it's a great song. It's in C. kind of reminds me of Wildwood Flower, uh, some of those songs. It's got some space in it and a lot of room for... Um, coming up with some cool syncopation and cross-picking licks, things like that. So that's what we're going to do today. If you're watching somewhere else beside the website, you can come on board here in a bit. I'd love to have you on board as a Gold Pick member. You get access to this full lesson, including the jam tracks, all the tabs, everything, and as well as hundreds of other lessons. So come on over and check it out. As I mentioned, this song is in the key of C. I like it because the melody moves kind of slow. It allows you to throw in a lot of cool cross-picking licks, even some harmonics in there. We're going to talk about that. And though this isn't really a fiddle tune where it's divided into an A part and a B part, I think it does kind of have an A part and B part. You might call it a verse and a chorus. Um, as far as the chords go, just regular old key of C chords. we got our C, our F and our G. It's a very straightforward there. I think it's important for us just to hear the basic melody though. Before we get to looking at this tab and seeing everything extra that I throw in, let me just play the basic melody for you. And just let it soak in. I would call the verse and I think this is important to be able to maybe pause this video and just hum that to yourself because we're going to be playing all of those notes but adding other things in but we never want to lose sight of what that melody is okay now let's look at what I do here in the first line of tab I'm going to kick it off a little syncopated walk up okay, so we're going to come in on the end of two one two and three four and then we're going to stick pretty doggone close to the melody for the first half of this verse I'll just play through this line slowly for you. So we have two measures of C, right? And then two measures of G. When we're over that C measure and going forward when we're over the C measures, I like to leave my fingers down in a C major chord and just lift my fingers and move them whenever I'm forced to. But if I'm not forced to, I want to leave those notes press down, those frets press down, because it helps with our overtones and just makes it sound smoother. Now, where would I be asked to move those fingers? Well, you have to move them a little bit for the kickoff. But then there in that second measure, we have the, right? And I'm gonna use my pinky to grab that third fret. I think that's important, because I've still got my C chord ringing out. to measure five there and we move into the G chord portion, we can lift that. Um, we don't have to press down the C chord. Now as we go into the second line, we're going to see something that we're going to do several times. It sounds like this. So you'll see there on the third beat that I have those groups of notes with the B and the arrow pointing up. What I'm notating is that we want to brush through those notes. So we're going to kind of slowly go through them, all of the downstroke. Okay. So what's the melody doing there? It's going the whole line again. idea that we've already established at the top, measure 11. See how I'm keeping that C chord down? And then we have another brush, measure 15. Okay, so three times in this song we're going to have that brush. And every time that I do it, I'm going to do it a little differently. Not the actual brush itself, but the notes surrounding it and when the brush happens. And I want you to pay attention to that because that's how we can easily create some variation um, in our playing whenever we're playing something that's repetitive. All right. So 
Let's look at the chorus part of this song now. This is when we go into the F chord, as well as learning those harmonics. If you're watching somewhere else beside the website, I'd be honored to have you on board. If you are here on the website, click on the next video segment. Don't forget to download those Jamtrack MP3s and the tab.